What's up everybody, it is me King Alpha Hope, everybody's been doing great. So I know you guys have been dying for probably some Rise videos for a while, but I honestly have been taking a pretty decent break from Rise. I think when after KVK, it's just, it becomes very stale, you know, even the little events that happen in the kingdom, they just really aren't that for me. Um, but you know, now that KVK is around, I think this is now KVK 4 or 3, whichever one that I've done. I think I've been in three KVKs now. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I really, ha I, like, at this point in the game, I've really just been playing here and there. So if you guys really haven't been seeing Rise videos, um, it's mainly my fault. Like, for example, right now, I do have combat arms basically finished um, to 10, and I only have... <clears throat> I think two more and then I actually unlock T5. I'm ex I'm trying to see exactly uh, what's going to happen when it comes to these events. These events are taking a bit longer than I assumed. As, as you can see, I really haven't even grinded any Marauders, which sucks because I only have 16 hours. But then again, it's just like I haven't been playing this game like that. And I know these chests give you loads and loads of rewards and stuff. But... It's just one of those things that I just haven't been playing this game. I've been fo so focused on playing um, my other game, Conqueror's Blade, that I'm, I've been streaming on Twitch for almost 6 to 10 hours a day. And um, <clears throat> when it comes to this game, I just I just really, you know, you just don't pay, you lose, you just pay attention. You don't pay attention to it. You just lose interest um, because there's not a lot that happens during non-KVK, you know, other than, for example, like drama and all that other stuff. Like there's... You know, little events like Ark, which is great, but then you have to make certain times. And with COVID going on and everything, you also have to be wary of the fact that, like, you got work or you don't have work. So people that don't work, you know, they get to spend more time with the game. But people that do work, it's just like, you know, you just you don't have really have that time to really be getting on the game after working a long day or something. Which, it, which this sucks because I can't find any Marauders. I don't know if they're, like, not spawning that much. Oh, there they are. Um... And I know I probably shouldn't be farming these solo, but I really didn't really have time to be like, oh, anybody want to farm Marauders and then start a video or anything like that? Like, I just wanted to actually do a video by by myself. <laughs> um, but yes, guys, I know as you see, I'm still like, I've barely moved power. Um, I have actually barely been doing any events when it comes to Mighty Governor as well. Um, Mighty Governor has just become one of those things that even if they restrict the uh point system for K ke in this kingdom which i do love I, I love that the fact that this kingdom is working towards you know making everything balanced for players you know not having it where you just waste so much like resources and speed ups on uh ke but they actually make it where you know there's a max of 10 million points or a max of 5 million points and stuff so it makes it fair enough for people that want to participate and, and unlock a hero you know it's going to be easier for those people to actually unlock that hero which i still for example have not unlocked um what's her face the is it is it what's what is her name um theodora so i still haven't unlocked her as well i still have to unlock artemides as well but i've realized a lot in this game that um you know, I, I just, like, the, the fact that there's no real skill that comes into this game. You can't say, oh, this guy is one of the best players in the world. Like, no, it, it's, if he's one of the best players in the world, it's because he has, like, the money to, like, actually support the fact that he, you know, can lose all these troops or he can make all these troops or he can expertise all these commanders and stuff. And I think that's just one of those things I don't like about Rise of Kingdoms is the fact that, you know, going into every KVK, you know, it's about who has the best allies now, who um, is the most active and everything, compared to, oh, you know, this guy got a lot of skill and stuff. Like, for example, my Yi Sen Jin, right? This guy, you know, boom, he's 5-3-2-2, or 5-3-2. Like, you know, if I don't get this guy expertise, he's not going to be good. But, if, you know, as long as I'm leveling him up and everything, he's still not going to be good. So it's just one of those things where it's like I'm realizing a lot with this game and even other games in particular. It's becoming just very pay to win. And I think that's one of the things that I like about, um, you know, uh, Conqueror's Blade is the fact that you don't need to pay for things. Like you actually need to grind and play the game. Like, yes, free to play players can grind this game and they can be great and they can get T5 and everything. But 
there's a limit to what free to play players can even do when it comes to grinding this game. Um, you know, when it comes to losing troops, when it comes to everything, um, you know, it's, it becomes a lot of hoarding in this game for those certain moments um, that actually just make this game fun for free to play players. But when it comes to playing competitively, no, it's 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 you know, it just loses that interest. Like I've even had it where I don't even put my freaking troops out to farm anymore, and that's an issue. Like. Y y when you don't put your troops out to even farm, like, that's an issue every day, like, if you're not doing that. Because that just shows that you're becoming less and less active. Um, you know, other things are taking your time and everything, and you just, you're just not paying attention to this game. So I'm not trying to bash the game. I'm not trying to say anything. I'm just giving you guys the reason on why I've been so AFK. Why I haven't been really paying attention to this game and everything. is because when you find other games that, you know, actually take skill, that actually you know make you grind without having to pay for things you know those games are the fun games like you know when i'm playing conqueror's blade and i grind for like 20 hours and it actually you know shows for it you know this game yeah i could grind marauders for 20 hours or whatever but when i run wow where's the marauders at um when i run out of action potions as a free-to-play player you know what am i gonna do you know it's it's one of those things where there's there's limitations in this game that um you know, in, in other games, the only limit is, you know, are you going to stop playing? You know, it's it's all on, it's based on your time. So I think that's one of the things that, um, you know, I just, th this is why I have not been posting on uh, YouTube about these, you know, the heroes or anything. The main reason, and I want to say this, the main, main reason I have not been doing um, the tests for these heroes, like, oh, which one's better, you know, Alex Richard or Richard Leo, Leo Alex, Leo Charles, etc. The main reason I have not been doing those is because of the fact that I don't have T5. And I've been really, really trying to wait for the, like, uh, the Zenith or whatever it's called. But I believe that doesn't start for, like, almost another week. And it's becoming one of those things where it's just, like, you know, what exactly do I do? Do I wait until then so I can actually start doing hero videos again? Because everyone, every person I'm testing against, I don't have T, uh, like I don't have T5 tech. And that's one of the things that has been holding me back for a while is the fact that there's a lot of things I can't test with T5 tech, but I also don't have the commanders to really test everything as well. I can't test, you know, Lee, uh, Yi Sun Jin with Constantine, for example, because both of them aren't expertise, but, you know, players that have either paid or have gotten, you know, sculptures or everything to actually get those heroes expertise, you know, it's easier for them to make content and stuff. For, for players like me that I'm not going to be paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars to, you know, put this content out, it's, it's pretty difficult. Like, I, I think, you know, I think other people don't realize, like, oh, you're not putting Rise video content up or anything. Like, when... When you don't pay for things, it's very, like, hard to actually come up with content. Like, you know, yeah, I could do these guides and stuff for, for hero tips and uh, trees and all that. But, you know, how, am I going to really put up a Yi Sun Jin tree when I, you know, don't even have a max? Um, like, don't have him expertise. Don't have him six stars or level 60. So when it comes to the, like the talent tree or something, I can't really show what talent tree I'm going to do um, because I don't have all the skill points, etc. So, um, you know, I'm sorry, guys, again, that I'm not trying to rant or, you know, show or talk bad about Rise or, you know, talk bad about just anything. It's just the fact that why I'm not playing Rise that much anymore, why I'm not actually giving you guys content that you've probably been asking for for a while. I know people have been still dying for, you know, is Richard or Alex or, you know, Richard or Leo or Leo and and, Le and Richard, Leo, Alex better, like which infantry is better and stuff. But it's just like, I can't keep up with certain things that, you know, other people can't. So, um, at that, at this point, basically, you guys will be seeing KVK videos. I'll be showing you guys, you know, war and stuff. But if you, you know, I, I am probably going to see if I can just do the T5 tech so I can actually start doing certain videos. But after I do like all the guide videos and stuff, I don't know what other content I can really do. There, there's very, you know, limitation things in this game. There is, this game is very limiting to what kind of content you can make. You, it either gets repetitive or you don't have the money to back up the content. <laughs> so, um, 
another thing I wanted to say as well is like for example like yes the free the free RTS movement is really nice but like you know there's just st there's still content missing in this game like you know new heroes that like like purple heroes that are good and, and like for example and I wanted to really point this out what was the point of giving you know Luigi a new art he looks amazing I absolutely love how this guy looks when nobody uses this guy like it's it's actually sad that nobody uses this guy they gave him a whole brand new freaking art he looks amazing and you know you don't even nobody uses him like at all there's just i think that's just one of those things that, that actually does bother me is just like there's certain things that they focus on in this game that just makes no sense like at all like they need to focus on new civilizations you know um not new units because obviously they'll become more pay to win um but new civilizations new ways of of attacking on the battlefield not um just straight up like okay everybody have five commanders or have all five t5 and just move forward and then attack move forward and attack back go back and forth like there's just certain things that just don't take skill in this game so anyways guys i hope to see you guys next time i'll be doing more videos um let me know what you guys think about, you know, Rise of Kingdom is in general. Like, are you guys still playing? How does it feel for you and everything? I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.